Perfect. All right, for this problem, what they want us to do is they want us to um, combine these two functions by multiplying them. And then what they want us to do is they want us to evaluate the two functions. So there's two ways we could do this. We could do it uh, the long way by actually, um, we could do the long way by actually uh, multiplying these two functions and then evaluating them. Or we could evaluate them and then multiply and see what we get. So really what this is saying is do f of 6 times g of 6. All right? So the first thing you guys can do is you could just say, well, what is f of 6? Well, f of 6 is, um, let's, just, let's just figure out what they are. f of 6 is equal to 6 squared plus 1. And which equals 37. G of 6 is going to be 6 minus 4, which is equal to 2. Nice. Nice. Um, or the other thing you could also do is we could also just multiply these two functions. So you could say, you know, f of x, or f of x, or um, sorry, f of g of x, well, that equals x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 4. And we multiply this. This becomes x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 4. Then you could figure out what is, um, that is f of x, or that's sorry, that's f of g of x. And then if you want to find f of g of 6, you just plug in the value 6. So 6 cubed minus 4 times 6 squared plus 6 minus 4. So obviously, if you guys look at it this way, this way is looking pretty simple, right? Yeah. 37 minus 2 equals 35. However, if for whatever reason you decided to do it this way, let's go and double check our work and see what it is. I thought we were supposed to multiply. You were supposed to multiply. So I said minus. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. Wow. You you did this, so I was in this I was looking at this subtraction. Yes. You're gonna be multiplying this um, 37 times 2. Thank you. So I'm sorry, you do f of 6. Thank you so much. I know. Times g of 6, so that's going to be 37 times 2, which is going to be, what, 74? Now, let's take a look at this. 6 cubed, anybody have this? 6 cubed is? Oh, 6 cubed, uh, 316. Do we just, just go through the values so everybody can go through this? Huh? All right. I'll go ahead and take the work out here. I just want to make sure everything is, I'm not going to spend my time. 216 minus 6 squared is 36 times 4, 144 plus 6 minus 4. Just so you guys can go and double check your math, you can see. It doesn't matter which way you work at it, but just to let you know there are two two different ways you guys can solve problems. You can first do the operation and then evaluate, or you can evaluate first and then do the operation.